Well, guess what, Tubes? I did a thing. <laughs> Another thing. Oh, one of you lovely fans of mine contacted me through Facebook, through the Facebook fan page thingy there. And, um, yeah, one of you lovely fans. One of you lovely fans contacted me. I can't believe it. That's great. And I uh, had a tractor to get rid of. Actually, two tractors, but I only took one. Um, so, anyways, thanks, Joe, for offering this to me. So, uh, I don't really know anything about this guy yet. Uh, probably not going to really get into him quite yet until maybe we get our new building up. Uh, so it can maybe sit here for a bit. But uh, there's a couple of things that looks like we need to address. You know, not quite 100% right there, but... Okay. Uh, looks like they had a new carburetor put on it not too long ago. And a nice steel line, which is good. It's like, uh, sort of like the two end style here with the uh, governor on the front. That's a, it's a two arm governor. They have two and three arms. And that's good too. It's had a, an oil line put in it there. So this is of course a Ford 8N. Kind of one of my favorite tractors. Mm, I like the John Deere stuff too. This one says these are all right too. Fairly somewhat easy to work on, right? And this actually ends up being a 1951. So Boris, with the V8 in it that we have to do work too, is a 1952. So about one year different. Uh, looks like it needs a muffler clamp there to keep that a little quieter. Looks like the intake's pretty good though. Um, definitely needs a coil. I don't know if you can see that coil in there, but uh, I think that coil's seen better days. <laughs> I've never seen a coil split like that. Maybe it got water in it or something, I don't know. Uh, I haven't checked in here yet. It does have oil in it, which is good. It's super dark and kind of thin, but and the hydraulic oil here is, I guess, a little high, but it's better high than not enough. Well, that looks like that's all right. Uh, I guess that's the original hours on it. Well, of course, it's 2.9. Don't know how much oil pressure it has. Won't start a course with a coil like that. Uh, I haven't even tried to get it going. Like I say, I'll probably wait until we. Uh... Oh yeah, that's got a traditional slop in her. That's all right. She should run good that way. Um, did pop this off to look inside, and it actually wasn't too bad in there. Surprising. It's got a super nice front bumper on it too. That's a really nice one. Overall. This is actually in not too, too bad a shape. I mean, the hood looks like it got schmanged a little bit, but I can probably take that panel off and unschmang that. Someone's, I don't know, turn it on there and go, I guess. It had a battery in it, and uh, I think it's a 12 volt battery because it's 9.6, and this is supposed to be a six volt system in this. So that's not too good. Uh, I don't know if the starter even spins or if that uh, solenoid works. Definitely needs to be rewired. It does have some gas in it, but you can see the crub in there, so that's probably not a good thing. This is, of course, just running to this light, which that will probably come off. Um, yeah, I mean, someone's done work with it lately because, like, these bolts in here are, like, fairly new. And uh, what they did, I don't know. Maybe they put rims on it because they're not too bad, but then they they went and reloaded them again. Oh man, what a mess. I hate loaded tires. They're good if you're in the field and you need that extra weight, of course. But I, uh, I'm i not crazy on having loaded tires. I'd like to, uh, yeah, these are all new nuts and everything down here. I don't know whether this side got new nuts or anything. And bolts on, there's one there. And then, loaded again I can just tell by how dense they are it was pretty heavy coming home plus I had the mini X on the back here too right because this thing wouldn't start and we're not pushing that up the trailer so I'm like I'll bring the mini X so I basically just pushed on there and then shoved it up the ramp and then on to where it is worked really good um, no leaks at all anywhere on the trailer so that's good I'm gonna see if I can get over here and uh oh, all these straps i just left the straps on i haven't even taken any of them off yet 
Well, yeah, pretty dry under here. That's a good thing. Most of these leak. So not, that's not a good thing, but I mean, overall, I don't think it's had that much driving because I look at this here and I see the uh, neurals are wear off a little bit there compared to the outside, but not like smooth, you know? If they were smooth, that's had a lot of driving. And the steering seems to have a bunch of play in it too. We might be able to work that out with these guys. Uh, which is kind of weird that it's got a lot of play in it, but not much driving. So, yeah, that's probably good do for a change. And these oil pans, this is like the two end, the oil pan is like part of the subframe of the tractor. So you can see where it all mounts to the front and stuff there and all up into that pin. Although you could get, oh yeah, you could get that off, I guess, without taking that front end off. But you'd have to support it way back here. And there's bolts all the way around and then the front bolts would come off and then she'd drop out because probably a lot of scrime in the bottom of these things, right? Uh, I haven't actually checked radiator yet oh yeah she's right up with something kind of kind of smells like gasoline why would you do that that's not a good thing I better get that maybe drained out of there it smells like gasoline <laughs> oh boy oh boy yeah, better drain that guy out of there. Uh, and there's a little petcock right there. That looks like it's gonna be fun. I have to get up there with a pair of pliers and get that drained out because that smells like gasoline in there. Ooh, that'd be a interesting little video for us. Let's maybe roll her back a little bit so I can get a pail under there and see if we can get that petcock open there. And not I'm pulling off that hose because that smells like gasoline in there. That doesn't, that's not good. Oh, that is not good. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. That's really got me concerned now why there's gasoline in the red in the red. Oh man. I mean there's probably a lot of people that own a lot of things that don't know really what to do with it. It's got like different spark plug wires and stuff and Yeah, it's gonna need some going over, I think. Be interesting to pull the plugs and see. Uh, maybe we'll do a little video on this. Just not a whole overhaul video. And uh but I gotta get that gotta get that rad drained out and uh, that should drain all the block and everything out too probably just leave it right out for the winter you know what i'd like to try and i don't no i can't oh, because of this guy here i can't get my starter i got a starter handle i can't get that in there oh well that's all right but anyways uh just wanted to show you this little acquisition i got it Fairly good price, so I thought, you know, couldn't resist. <laughs> it bit me and I had to go get him. But, uh, it's a little loose there. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely needs the right tube to go into that guy. That guy's kind of loose for some reason. This is loose on that bracket, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, why on earth would you have gasoline in here? Sure smells like gas. It's got some water or something in it. It's not exactly lined up with the neck on that thing too well either, is it? Uh, let me just go grab a little towel here and uh, dip it in just to see. I wonder if it would catch fire. I mean, it's a tank. I guess you could put gas in it. Maybe it'll run off it one day, but that's not the idea of that, I don't think. Um... Let's just have a look here and see if I soak this up real good. Does it catch fire? Now, if it does, don't try this at home. But I'm really curious to see if this is actually gasoline. Sure, the heck smells like it. And that's not a good thing. Let's see if I can soak a bit of this up in here. Okay. Well, it might 
be just water. It might be just water, I don't know. Let's see if this blows up in my face here. Oh, I think it's just water. That was gas that would have caught a lot of fire. I don't think it's uh I don't think it's gas, but it sure has a gasoline smell. Um now. My shop is a complete mess, of course. You guys know me. I forget where absolutely everything is, but somewhere here, there it is right there. See, I'm organized, messy, but organized. <laughs> I just want to see what this stuff is. See what comes out of here. Then I'll let you go. I won't keep you all day. But uh, hopefully this engine's good too in this thing and it doesn't smoke. Oh yes, that's gonna have to come out of there. Because there's no antifreeze in there at all. Very, 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 very little. So, that would definitely split the block open if you didn't take that out. And uh, it's not going to get cold here for a while, so I won't worry about it right now. But we'll get the big cameras out someday here and, uh, and do that. Separate video. I was gonna do but who who sent me these somebody loves me a lot apparently and sent me two brand new rims for the 800 I'm like totally shocked who who sent it you gotta let me know so I can like at least pay you something anyways that was gonna be a separate video on that but uh, now you've seen it in this video I better mention it so they just arrived the other day there i'm like i come up to the house i'm like the heck is that it looks like a big fire pit two of them stacked up i'm like look at them like those are rims for the 800 so yeah there's no uh name on it just my name and uh hey, we've got two brand new rims so whoever sent me these oh my goodness thank you so much but anyways thank you thank you thank you holy smokes gotta send you something back anyways but so that's just a little shorty for this uh, for this little tractor, but uh, yeah, I guess I better get that uh, drained out of there. Where was that drain again? Is there one on both sides? Probably not. No, but I don't see any leaks there either, which is good. It's not, you know, it's right full there, so so that's gonna be little bit of a challenge to get out of there. Mm -hmm. Now this should drain the block and everything out, I believe. Well, there is a drain here too, which I'll, yeah, I'll probably need pliers on that guy too. And uh, this is supposed to drain out the center here and it looks like it's bunged up with crap. Yeah, I got some little bug holes in it. Well, you know what? We're gonna have a pair of pliers and see if we can crack that guy open. Let's start coming back in here again. Yeah, thanks so much for sending me rims. Holy smokes. I already have tubes for them. I was gonna buy a set of rims, and I guess, I don't know, I showed those rotten, rotten old rims the other day in a video, and I guess one of you has felt pity on me and <laughs> sent me a pair of rims. So, my goodness, thank you so much. Because I know these things are not cheap. But uh, who sent me the rims? You gotta let me know. You gotta let me know who sent those rims. Let's just get this guy opened up here, I think. Um, this wire harness might be in the way. Oh, there goes the battery. Um, and this stupid thing doesn't need to be there either, really. See if I can even get a hold of this guy in here. Oh, not too bad. Now, let's get a little container under it, maybe. See if that'll drain out a bit. Kind of interesting to see what's in there. Um, back and forth, back and forth. One day we'll have a shop here. And it'll be all in one shop. <laughs> this is my game plan. 
Mm, this should be darn near enough. Got some coolant in there from the 800 when I was working on it. It's all back together now. I didn't really make a video of it because I kind of already done that for you guys, right? And uh, it's the same sort of thing. But uh, honestly, to be kind of ticked off, the new steering box I got for it exchanged isn't really that much better. can hardly believe it. Well, there's a bit of green coming out there. Sort of smells like coolant. Pretty dirty looking crap though. Uh, maybe let that drain down a little bit. Oh, oh it's splashing all over me. All over the underneath. And, oh yeah. So that seems to have a bit of coolant in it. I don't know why it's so much different on the other side. Side on the radiator. Looks like they think that they blocked that off. Um, now this one. Mm, I'm not going to worry about that one right now. That doesn't look too bad there. Maybe we'll let that drain out and try sampling that stuff. Kind of gross looking, but they needed to bring that pet cock out just a little bit more just past there. It probably would have dribbled a nice little stream right in that thing there. But. Anywho, so yeah, this one uh, from the serial number on the on the block up here, the number right there, it turns out to be about a 1951. So that's pretty good. Well, most of that's getting in the bucket. Maybe I'll just let that drain out for a bit. It's probably better to leave it empty than really anything in it for the winter until I know what's in it. <laughs> But uh, we'll have to drain that rad too, because this should drain most of the rad out too, believe it or not. But the rad's just a hair bit lower. And uh, if you only drained the radiator, you wouldn't drain the bottom of the block here, I don't think so. It should be a fair bit of fluid coming out of that too. I don't remember how many liter or gallon it is now, but it's a fair bit. But anyways, I'll let you go. I don't want to keep you all day. But please let me know who sent me those rims. Oh my goodness, that is like so amazing. Please let me know. Please let me know. Don't be shy. Please let me know. And uh, yeah, so anyways, oh yeah, that's eh, it's pretty gross. <laughs> that needs cleaned. Uh, might even mix up new stuff and put it in, although it should really be running to cycle it, but uh, it's going to be a wee while till we get this one running again. Definitely should have some wires redone. Because I believe this is supposed to be a 6 volt system on this, although that's a, I believe a 12 volt battery, although they've sort of painted it over for some reason, so hopefully that didn't fry some things in here. I, I don't know if it would have or not, but maybe that's why they change the lights because they fried the lights but uh anyways okay i gotta go thanks again for watching look at this hood though it's actually in pretty good shape compared to the old two end there which is all rotted out the front and rotted out the back here for some reason it rotted out i don't know why but um yeah that's some pretty grossy looking stuff probably good to get it out though uh but uh yeah, I just thought of that actually when I'm like, well, I haven't checked that yet. Maybe we should check that. But uh, this should be uh, hopefully a pretty good tractor, and I might end up selling that too, man. Get rid of that. Because this one we've got four speed. Oh, geez, I thought I was in trouble there. Looks like it's going into all the gears, not too bad. Yeah. Hmm, probably can just get a new knob or an eight ball or something <laughs> but uh yeah no key for this either he couldn't find the key for it so missing a couple of bolts there oh the whole hood's loose maybe here missing all the bolts hmm. okay anyways that's it gonna catch you later thanks again for watching another project oh boy i don't know what's under this thing but doesn't look too bad overall this he's in pretty darn good shape Anyways, thanks again. Catch us all later, and you guys have a good day. Let's let her dribble. What a mess. Oh, that's some pretty nasty stuff.